what's going on everyone just quickly before we get into this fantastic night what a night it was if you could leave a like in the video if you enjoy it subscribe if you haven't already it means a lot to me and a like massively helps the channel but without further ado let's get into this enjoy the clips enjoy the atmosphere what's going on everyone welcome back to another video on the channel we're starting this video off today it's going to be against Braga last set of two Europa League we're going to go into Loudoun first get a drink calm the nerves a little bit more Here we are, as you can tell from the pub there, it was absolutely bouncing. Walking up to the stadium now, seeing the team, usual back four, midfield three, so we've got Kamara, Davis and Arfield, Hadji in the wing, usually better in the middle, but I'm sure he was going to perform in the right, I've got a feeling he's going to be man of the match. I'm sure he was going to perform in the right, I've got a feeling he's going to be man of the match. Morelos and Kent, there's a big debate whether it was Kent or Kimbe that was going to get in the team, but Kent's got in. So there's another party going around here. The, feel, uh, the feeling around the stadium today has been absolutely mad. So I'm sure inside the stadium is going to be absolutely bouncing. The team will need it today. I think the stadium will rise, the players will rise to the occasion. I'm predicting a 2 or 3 0 win tonight. It's been another big talk point, but it's good enough to go on. But again, the pitch isn't great. It's probably suit us. I think so, because they're probably more of a technical team, you'd imagine. We don't actually know much about them, we don't know any of the players. Oh, there's a little bit of a
I hope you enjoyed those clips as much as I enjoyed being there tonight because it was just one of those special, special European nights. You heard Hadri coming out after the game and saying it. Ibrox, what a place that's just different on European nights. You hear top, top talents all around the world to come to us on European nights and they talk about special nights like that and I'm sure them Braga boys will not be forgetting that anytime soon. But to start off, just a little recap of the game. Braga, they started off well to be fair to them. As much as that we never actually got out the traps going, 
And that first goal, it's just an absolute screamer. It was, it was almost the closest I've been to applauding an opponent's goal at Irox. It was that good, that first goal that Braga scored. First half as a whole was not brilliant to watch. Like The shape was just not working well. You could literally throw a blanket over a midfield three. They were that tight. It was leaving a lot of space out in the wides, leaving Lara Braga, allowing them to overload us on the outside. And it was just not going well at all. There was no intensity. When we were pressing, we were pressing with one man. And even when we were 2 all down in the second half, I'll insert a clip now of what the team just didn't look like they wanted to fight for this win. The second half started and you were thinking we couldn't be any worse than we were in the first half. And it started very shaky again. Goldson with a few dodgy passes out from the back. Kamara with a perfect through ball to a Braga player, unfortunately. And somehow he's miscontrolled that and pff, luckily, lucky for Kamara. Morelos had his goal line scramble, which I've not actually had the chance to see back yet. But apparently he's hit it, it's been saved, and he's hit it again, and the defender's kept it off a line bit. Not only do you think he should be scoring there, and he's just not playing to the best of his ability right now. He's still playing his hold up play well, but he's just not got that killer instinct right now. He did have a few chances in this game, and to be honest, could have had at least two goals. And due to our lack of intensity, Braga got another second goal standing off on the edge of the box. Another good finish, mind you, but that's what happens when you leave these players with space on the edge of the box. And they could have made it three with another lovely through ball not long after it, with thankfully a good save from McGregor, which would have absolutely buried the game. Hadji's goal to get us back in in the game, showing that he's got that five-star weak foot, as you would call it, cutting inside, using that left foot. Gets his way back into the game. He's seen his passion. I've put that in the clips before when we got the got to make it two one. It gave the crowd a spring in their steps. Camberry came on for Kent again. I thought Kent was poor today. One of the worst performers. Borna had to come off with an injury from a tackle. That it was a yellow card. He got given a yellow card for it. Could have been a red. Looking back at it again, I've not had the chance to look back at it again. But just on that first sight, and it made well. The tactical decision was made to put a rebolt at left back. You're thinking to yourself, what is this? But then the absolute masterclass that is a rebo scored this goal. And it was if Messi scored that goal that a rebo scored, the news would have been talking about for a week. The replays would have been showed. He's beat, you watch it back, he's beat like five or six players. Opened it, it was a, such a good goal. It was absolutely amazing. But genuinely, it wouldn't have looked out of place if Messi scored it. You could see from this point the crowd were right behind the team that was absolutely rocking and the Braga players, the Braga team just could not handle it. Their fans went silent. They are just not used to that type of atmosphere, intensity and you just wonder why can't it be there from the start because if we started that game I think personally we just gave them far too much respect. It just goes to show you how much of a mentality thing that football is. It's the same players but look how well we played in that last half an hour compared to how we've been recently. And then, of course, Hadji's free kick to seal it all off, causing absolute limbs and eyebrows. It was absolutely fantastic, man. Moments that you just can't describe to people that feeling. You just have to experience it yourself. And it puts us into a, not a great, but a good position. We've got the win. You were thinking it was dead and buried at 2-0, thinking this can only go one way from here. But we've put ourselves in with a good chance of going through now into the next round. But... <sighs> absolutely buzzing but I'd like to know your thoughts everyone put them down in the comments below do you think that's enough to get us through what do you think of the team's performance tonight Hadji man of the match I'm sure no one's going to disagree with that but that's going to be all for this video guys I hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like if you haven't already subscribe if you're new to the channel and we'll catch you in the next one